All right, let's create a slider for the blog. And to do that, we're going to install a plugin called Meta Slider. So over to plugins and add new, do a search for Meta Slider. And this here is the one you want. It's not this one with the carousel and light box. It's the one that's just called Meta Slider and it has at this time almost a million installations. So go ahead and install and activate that one. I've already just installed it prior to recording this lesson. And once you've installed it and activated it, on the menu, you will have Meta Slider. So just go ahead and click on it. Now, the way I always do this is I just ignore all this down here and click on Add a new slideshow. You can give it a name for your own reference. I'm just going to call this first slideshow. All right, now we can put a slider in a widget area. So that could be a sidebar or a footer, or if your theme has widget areas elsewhere, some themes have widget areas below the header. We don't have one with this theme, but some themes do. Or you can put a slider in a post or on a page. So I'll show you the different options, but first of all, we need to create one. Now, what we normally do here is we add images and we link them to particular posts or pages on the blog. Now, often we need to do a bit of experimenting to get the size of the image correct. So by default, the width is 700 and the height is 300. But if we are going to put a widget in a sidebar, we're going to need a narrower width. Normally, though, the theme will resize any images that are in widgets, especially sidebar widgets, to fit the widget area. But we still need to experiment and see what's going to work. Now, what I've done here with the blog is I've added two more posts. So we can see down here now on the home page, starting to really take shape. So I'm going to create a slider that links to each of these three posts the individual post pages. And normally when we're creating a slider to a link to individual posts, we can just use the same images that we've already used. So the featured images that we have here, but because I only have these three posts right now on the blog, and they're all at the top of the page here, I don't want to use the exact same images for the slider. So I've grabbed some other images from Pixabay and uploaded them to the media library. First thing to do is click add a slide. You can either now upload from your device or choose from the media library. There's also a library here, Unsplash. Some pretty good images there. Oh, there's a really nice image of a fox. Anyhow, I've already got mine uploaded here, media library. And I'm going to add this one first. I'm going to add a second one and a third one. You can have as many slides as you like. Normally a slider wouldn't have any more than six or seven images anyway, but I've only got three posts, so I'm just going to add three. And now we can add a caption. So to add a caption, untick the box for use the image caption and type your caption in here. Now my caption is going to be the title of the post. And this post here is about destroying bat roosts. So I'm going to go ahead and take this title here. And for SEO in here, make sure you've got your alt text. Crop, the best way to have that is center center. All right, and I'm going to do the same for the other two slides. And now we need the URLs. So when somebody clicks on one of the images on the slider, it's going to take them to that particular page. Just going to grab the URLs of each post. We don't want to open in a new window because we're not taking the user away from our own website. So there's no need to tick that. Okay, I've got the three URLs in here. And here we can choose the theme. 
I'm going to leave it as this one here, but you can click on this and you can choose different themes here. If you want to select a different one, just select it and click select. I'm going to leave it as it is. Now we can also hide the arrows and it depends on where the slider is positioned. Sometimes the arrows are a bit intrusive. I'll leave them ticked for now and then we can see what this all looks like. So I'm going to just go ahead and save it without doing anything else at the moment. All right, now two ways to add this slider to a widget. The first is just to add the meta slider widget to the widget area. I'll show you that, but that doesn't always work. The second way is to use the short code. So let's take the short code and we'll try both ways. Okay, let's go over to appearance and customize. I want to put the slider right here in this left hand side widget. I'm going to go to the widget areas. It's the primary widget area. So far, just the search box in there. Add a widget. And the first way we can try is find the meta slider widget. There it is. Select the slideshow. Currently only have one. It's called first slideshow. And right away I can tell that this is not working because it's not displaying. It should be displaying now, but it's not. Depending on your theme, it may work. It just really is theme dependent. I'm going to delete that widget and I'm going to add this time a text widget. Scrolling on down, text. And in the text widget body, all we need to do is paste that short code. And now it's working. We might need to do a little bit of customization on it yet, but let's just publish this and then go and see what it looks like on the website. No, we need to do something with it. It's a bit of a mess. It's working, but it definitely doesn't look right. And we can't even see the captions. Okay, let's come out of here and go back to the dashboard and back to Meta Slider. I'm going to change the width to 300 and the height to 200. I'm going to try Nevo slider. Let's see, I'm going to delete these arrows because as we can see, it doesn't work here in the small widget area. It would work if the slider was bigger, like in a post or on a page, but it's not working here. Now let's try that. Refresh the page. Okay, it's better. It's probably the best we're going to get unless we upgraded to the paid version of MetaSlider where we can do more. But it's good enough. I'm happy enough with that. And let's just click on one of these and we go to the post. You can play around with this. We've got advanced settings here as well, but that's not going to make any difference. Let's try center align, but I don't think it's going to make any difference at all width and height. We could play around with that. Let's just save it for a moment here. No change for center aligning. How about we play with this number of squares width and height? I don't think it's going to do anything. No, it's not doing anything at all. All right, now if you want to delete a slider, all you need to do is scroll down to the bottom here and click delete. In the next lesson, I'll show you how to insert a slider into a post or a page. I'll see you in a minute.